should do a haul vid. It's time to have some fun. It's time to see what I got at Disneyland today. Hello everybody and welcome to a new portion of this channel that I like to call Muppet Monday. This is where I do something that's specifically Muppet related, probably like once every month or so, where we just uh, discuss either uh, a current event or, uh, in this case, a haul. My friend Chris at the Muppet Stuff blog asked me to do a review of something that's Muppet merchandise related, but I couldn't really find anything that I felt was specific or significant enough to do for like an actual review. So that's when I decided the best thing would probably be to do a haul, which if you don't know is actually a pretty big trend on YouTube where uh, it's mostly fashion related, but sometimes people do merchandise or things I got from trips. And in this case, we're going to be talking about Muppet merchandise. Originally, I was going to go to the Disney store at the mall and pick out what I could find there, but lo and behold, there is actually no Muppet merchandise at the Disney store anymore. Ah! But then I realized I have my new Disney pass that I got on my birthday, and that's when I decided, you know what? Let's get a Disneyland trip out of this. We'll go pick out the merchandise we can find there, and then we'll make a video based on that. So I have gone to Disneyland this past weekend, and I've collected literally everything that I could find there. I thought that there would probably be some things I couldn't purchase, like men's shirts or kids' shirts or something, because uh, I couldn't do anything with that stuff. But I was actually surprisingly able to purchase everything that I could find, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing, because I could bring everything home, but then there's like a, not a lot of other things there. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got at Disneyland. Oh, and by the way, I also made a vlog about my experience at Disneyland from that trip and me finding all that stuff. So uh, please uh, go to my vlog channel and check that out as well. All right, first order of business from the pin store, we have the big collection of Muppet pins that also have uh, the Muppets with Mickey ears on. Very fitting for Disney. Also at the pin store, I got what is called the Star Wars Muppets pin collection, which is pretty awesome, I must say. And uh, I only got one of these because uh, there's a lot of them. It's kind of random. You can see all the different choices, but you don't know what you get until you open it. But I still got to save money at the end of the day, so I only got one of them. So we'll find out what it is when I open it. I've become kind of a pin collector because uh, I've decided to go more and my friend Seth and uh, Rachel collect pins, so I'm kind of being a loser and getting in that game. Already got a couple of pins. This I need to give back to Seth. He just lent this to me for the day until I got my own. But uh, I got this one from the first day from trading. And this is my personal favorite pin uh, of Wally and Eve. And then we've got this Gonzo one, which I know I already have, but Seth got that for me yesterday. And then this right here is uh, a actual a uniform that they uh, wear at Disney. And this one I'm really proud of because I actually traded this one uh, with somebody at Disney who works there with one of the pins that I started with. And it's a Bunsen with the ears on. I forget what those things are called, but it's like where all the Disney characters have Mickey ears and it's so cute. I'm so, so proud of myself because I traded that one. And while at the pin store, I also got my own, whatever these things are called, uh, where you put all the pins on it. It's not Muppet related, but it is super cute. It's all these Disney characters in like nerdy form. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, put these pins on and see how it looks. Oh, he's so cute. There is actually surprisingly a lot of uh, not just Kermit and Miss Piggy, but a lot of um, Bunsen and Beaker stuff at Disney, and I'll show you what I mean when I get to my other things. Okay, where am I going to put you? This is super cute because uh, the things on the back are actually little Mickeys that you have to put the pin into. Kermy! Looking good so far with all the pins. All right, now let's go ahead and open up the Star Wars one. By the way, Star Wars, Muppets, and Disney, that's like a triple threat right there. That's like the ultimate combination, and that is exactly why the Star Wars episode of The Muppet Show is my favorite show, because it actually has all three of those things in it, because they also sing Wish Upon a Star. And, oh, it looks like I actually got two. I don't know if that was uh, on purpose, but let's see what we got. First one I got is, oh, it's Kermit does Luke Skywalker! And the next one I got is, Gonzo as Darth Vader. And something else that I got at the pin store is a lanyard medal, which is something that clips at the very bottom down here. So it's kind of like a weight that goes on it. And the one that I got, uh, there was no Muppet one, but I got this one with Mickey, because I kind of figured that sort of summed up Disneyland as a whole right there. And I just thought it was super adorable and super classy at the same time. 
And there you go. There it is. There's my pin collection. And now I'm ready to look like a total freak and go trade some uh, severe Muppet pins and along with this beautiful thing. Okay, so the next sort of business I was able to find was not in Disneyland, but actually the Disney store inside of downtown Disney is this. It's basically figurines of Walter, Gonzo, Kermit, Fozzie, Animal, and Miss Piggy from Muppets Most Wanted in her green dress. And I guess these are kind of supposed to be like uh, figurines that the kids play with, but uh, I don't know, man. I think these are kind of more made for me and people like uh, Ryan and Chris and other freaks who just collect uh, figures. Really loud. Now the figures don't really do a whole lot. They don't really move or anything like that. So, uh, and they have the gray little stands at the bottom. So these are mostly just kind of for display. A lot of people would definitely have these kind of things in their cubicles, but they'll have to find a home here somewhere. Uh, but I think they're super cute, and if I still play Dollhouse, maybe I'd play with them. I love how Fozzie is like the one that does not actually have a stand at the bottom. He's uh, heavy enough to kind of put on his own way. But now the gang's all here, and I'll never be lonely again. I play with Muppet toys. I'm so lonely. <laughs> now the next thing I found at the actual Disney store was Kermit and Beaker keychains. See what I mean? There's a lot of Beaker stuff at uh, Disneyland. I guess Beaker's pretty popular. Uh, but uh, not much to say, they're just mostly cloth and they're really soft and uh, you can put them on your backpacks or your keys or whatever you want to do with them. I think Beaker's gonna go on my keys. Ah! There we go. And now he can go with me everywhere. Kermit looks kind of grotesque though. He almost looks like he's uh, chomping down. Ah, like a dinosaur. All right, next important thing that I was a little surprised about, but I was very happy, was at Disney, I found a lot of Muppet ornaments. Have to be very careful with these ones because they're delicate, of course. Here is a Kermit and Miss Piggy ornament that I found, super adorable. And of course it's perfect because he's green and she's red and like, duh, perfect combinations for Christmas. Next ornament that I found is, again, Beaker and Bunsen Honeydew, uh, but they have holiday lights on, which of course is also very fitting. And, uh, ah, just, another thing, except for it's just so cute and I can't wait to hang that on my tree later this year. And finally, this is my personal favorite one. This one they really wrapped up tight. Whoa! It's Rizzo as Mickey Mouse. Isn't that adorable? I love Rizzo, you can't go wrong with Rizzo. In fact, while we're at it, let's just replace Rizzo with Mickey. I mean, come on, I think that would be a little better for everybody. Not! All right, now this is the final thing. Like seriously, I went to so many gift shops at Disney. It's very possible that I didn't go to every single one and I may have missed one. Uh, it's this beautiful uh, Muppet mug with the gang all there. Absolutely adorable and I don't drink coffee, but I'll have some tea in the morning or something, and uh, it's even got the Muppets logo right there. And uh, it was just so beautiful to find this, because it was just like, yay, I finally found something. Thank goodness, I was losing all hope, and you were there for me, thank you. So yeah, that is everything that I was able to find at Disneyland that was Muppet related, and that I was, uh, able to purchase, which again was everything. I didn't find any expensive uh, paintings, no clothes, no hats. There used to be a whole stand outside of Muppet 3D, but since uh, Frozen Fun kind of took over that area, now there's just, uh, I guess, Frozen stuff. I don't know, but uh, not Muppet anything. Now, this item I didn't get on this trip, but I figured, uh, what the heck, I got this at Disneyland, so let's go ahead and include this one too. This here is my personal favorite item from Disneyland. It's a, obviously, it's a Kermit beanie for winter which is uh, wearing it for weather here in LA is very rare, but uh, when I go back to Seattle, this comes in handy a lot. And uh, it's just so cute because it's green and he's Kermit, his eyes and everything. So there you go. That's everything from Disneyland that I own that is Muppet related. Thank you so much for watching this video and please be sure to watch Muppet-Stuff.Blogspot.com to see a lot of other cool updates and Muppet stuff related on the internet that people post about. And please, if you want to support the Muppets, then go ahead and 
purchase more stuff online at Disney.com or Amazon or wherever, just please go and show your support because we need more Muppet love. We, uh, we, we need to show our support, guys. So come on, uh, go buy more stuff. You, you, you can never have too much Muppet stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I will be back again soon with some more Muppet-related videos and some reacts and reviews and stuff. So I will see you later, and I love you. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Torco Buddies and Muppet fans. Mwah!